Hello, this is Shamim. I am calling from Microsoft Limited. I am working as a senior web developer in Ikra. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how can we change the logo reside on the header and how can we change the logo title. We will show you how can we change from both admin panel and from header.phtml file. In this tutorial, I am going to choose our PHP Holidays template as a default. But for your case, it, the same tricks and uh, frameworks and same process will work for your website as well. The functionality will remain same. It can be any of your script purchase from ikra.com. It can be your real estate, B2B, travel portal, and any portal. These tricks to, will be applied for all of them because our functionalities, frameworks, system will remain same to all of our products. So let's uh, log on to our default template of PHP Holidays. Here we are. So this is the default template of our PHP Holidays and as you can see I scroll down and scroll up. So in this template I'm going to show you what we call header. This one we call header. As you can see on my mouse, this is we call header and the header PHTML left to right, top to bottom, this one, this one we called as a header and under the header, the logo by default resides on the left hand side and the logo has a title. As you can see, once I take my mouse over logo, there is a title. So we will show you, yes, this one. This one is the logo image and uh, you can see on, on my mouse over there is a title. So we are going to change this uh, logo image and title. So now we are going back to our administration control panel and uh, I will uh, go to our global setting area. So global setting area can be accessed in two ways. Here, as you can see, under uh, site menu, you can find global setting area here and let's click on global setting. So global setting area, there is a tab called header and footer configuration. Let's delete this image because I'm going to delete our default image of header logo. So this one, and I'm going to upload a new image in replace of the default. So I choose any of these as a logo image. Insert this file. So as you can see the default logo gone and I am going I am going to save it and now if I refresh my home page after save yes I refresh my home page I would expect a new image to come in replace of my default logo yes there is a new image called clip in path to images so this is the logo that we have just uploaded from our global setting area so now we will show you how can we change from the header PHTML. So I download the header PHTML from my layout folder. The layout folder is application layout script default. So I download the layout for download the header.phtml file and I open header PHTML file through Dreamover or any any of your preferred uh, HTML editor. So look at this. This is the div that responsible for publishing the logo image. In the PHP, if you have little knowledge in PHP or HTML, you can see in the PHP there is a uh, condition that if the logo uh, is available from your backend, the logo image to be shown. But if the logo is not available or not given uh, to your admin control panel, this one is the default area where uh, your system will read the logo from. So the default is the application layout script and your layout folder name and under the, your layout folder name there is an image called image and logo dot page png so you can make change you can rename it as you want so you can see the location this location will only work if you do not set any logo image from your backend so now I'm going to upload a new logo from my desktop and I'm going to upload this uh, to, uh, to my theme folder yes in the image for your case it can be any theme how you rename it in the image folder I am going to upload my new logo for example 
uh, it's, it can be logo one dot jpg so this one I, I rename it so this else condition will only trigger when your logo is not set from your backend so I rename this one as a logo one dot jpg so I, I want to see a logo one dot jpg will be set so now I am going to going back to our theme folder and I am uploading my header.html file and now I am deleting the default uh, default logo this one I delete so why I delete because I want to see my D, um, my how my else condition fire it means when if no logo is set from your uh, backend a default logo should come so I would expect logo one dot jpg to be printed in replace of this you see I delete a logo from my backend and a new logo comes where it comes because we set is in else condition I means if the logo is not available in the backend I set a, an area where my low where I can take the logo from so now I'm going to show you how can we change the title of a logo so the title of a logo remains on the third line here so this one is the title so if you have a little knowledge about the PHP or HTML you can customize this line as uh, my sample title so I just save this file header.phtml file and I'm going to upload it to the server and once I upload it so let's refresh it back from our home page and I would expect the title to be changed yes here we are so uh, your title here the, you can see on the on the mm, on the logo there is a new title what I have wrote and I have written in my backend so this is the logo image and this is our title so, and now I'm going to add a new logo from my backend what I want is I want to manage my logo through my administration area so now what I do I set a, any image this one or this one or anyone from your desktop or from your local system you can upload any images you want so for this case let's pick up our default logo again so I set a default logo click saved and what I will expect I will expect that the default logo will go and the logo what we set from my admin area admin area will appear so let's refresh it let's see yes it is it, yes it is and my new image set because my new image has the higher precision and the higher priority and if my logo default if my admin logo is not available then only it brings the logo images that we um, uploaded to our image folder so I hope you enjoyed this title, uh, enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope you can be able to change logo and logo um, title if you want. So I hope it is very easy for you to make changes. If you still have any problem understanding, or if you have still any problem changing the logo and logo title, don't hesitate hesitate to call us or email us. We are happy to answer your call. Thank you very much.